Hello, this is episode 3 of George Lee's On the Committee of 300 and that is John Craven yeah. That is Morgan Grenfell Group and that is the false news from Rupert Murdoch's media release Yeah, This man interlocks with the Deutsche Bank with uh, the massive companies that are Ingenious Films Limited there is the interlocks of him with the British Syrian Society Limited and Ian Fleming and all the Gore Booths even the Bismarcks, the female Bismarcks are on the massive for-profit exercises ok, do you get it? there is Ian Fleming there is Gore Booth there is the massive syndicate that steals the whole world and specialises in uh, profiteering from both sides in the great conflicts yeah World War One for him, yeah, and the female relatives now take over. Okay, so let's get moving. We're on full screen, uh, and I'll just show you right at the top that those are the covers for John Craven at the BBC and John Craven at Ingenious Film Partners Limited, who was the boss at Morgan Grenfell. Yeah, that's him. Younger days. Yeah, there are all the pictures. There is all the uh, financial services stories that Gordon Bowden and I have told you already. Yeah, uh, and that is the cover at the BBC for the trivia. There's Ian Fleming again, and on and on and on they go. Let's get a move on. That must be a minute of my time already. Nearly two minutes. What a waste. Yeah, do you get it? That is the news of the last month. All of it is false. Yeah, to cover the most elite families in the committee of 300 ok, down we go here's the next one Andrew Crockett, Banker, Wikipedia Ardu Dadash yeah, this is the committee of 300 Sir Andrew Duncan Crockett was a British banker it looks as if he has passed on in 2012 yeah. Mass, British banker, economist and public servant General Manager of the Bank of International Settlements. Yeah, Davy Crockett. Yeah, all the jokes through the all the social media. Yeah, died San Francisco, California, United States. Yeah, he was the General Manager for the Bank of International Settlements. Thank you, God, for joining in. <laughs> Yuri Dadash Carnegie. Yeah, of Dundee. Yeah, Carnegie of the trains all over Canada. This one's Harvard University, like Drew Frost. Uh, Hebrew University, like Jacob Rothschild. Uh, and he's on the committee of 300. Let's get a move on. There's Tony de Alois Hitler. Not this time the Hitler bloodline, but he is Tony Dalois Alois. I.O. Yeah, I.O. for a laugh. Yeah, I, I for Ralph Fiennes in the Piso joking team. He's head, chairman of Australian Securities and Investments Commission, ASIC. Yeah, all of it, the Getty Images crew, all of them descended from ancient Rome and Naples with the Bible fraudsters yeah, and the leaders in all of the great conflicts. This is Malcolm Rifkind. Uh, the brown that is the traitor that was Tony Blair's assistant uh, and that is sorry that is not Malcolm Rifkin that is Alistair Darling and the better off together mobsters yeah Gordon Brown led uh, the whole of those massive uh, uh, not NATO the United Nations he got the woman that they pretended was shot in the head in India to speak for all of them, that is Malala and all of the crimes he then launched the radioactive beach in Fife just across the shore from Dundee David Davis, Right Honourable David Davis MP Secretary of State for exiting the European Union yeah, in the bloodlines, right through former, not this is, uh, he is British Conservative Party politician ok, let's get a move on that is now 4 minutes 1.77 this is at the Rothschild at long last 
Benjamin de Rothschild is a French banker on the uh, committee of 300. Why does 500 trillion rich Rothschilds not on the Forbes richest? Yeah, thank you to the people that are now analysing yeah, what actually is the massive diversion that is the Forbes rich list. The richest people of the world are not on it. This is David René de Rothschild. Yeah, René in the comedies. Yeah, who died within the year and the Star Wars team is dropping. <laughs> dropping like flies, okay? De Rothschild Evelyn, the most influential man on the globe the advisor to Queen Elizabeth II and that is Hillary Clinton who I don't believe is on the list and Bill Clinton who we profiled yesterday that is his missus and she is uh, uh, she was in the bloodline that is uh, uh, involved in the love life of uh, that's Hewitt she was Miss Hewitt before she married Evelyn Rothschild. This is the trains all over the world joke for Carnegie. Yeah, that's Leopold David de Rothschild, and that is him in his aging years. That is him when he was contesting the financial uh, enterprise world, and that is him in the train jokes. Yeah, like the tapping jokes for Will Hay. Yeah, tapping the whole of the public and funding the whole of the world only by taxpayers' revenues when all of the central bank's outcome goes into the group of 300, sorry, the committee of 300. There's Leopold David de Rothschild and his profile, 1927 to 2012. All of them are crashing. It may be a coincidence, but make up your own mind. Okay, next is... Uh, Joseph's uh, Dice, Deripaska's, Dobson's, Mario Draghi, the head of the European Central Bank. Yeah, can you see how all of the mobsters that are in charge of all of the false news about us dropping out of Europe, all of them are on the take. There's Jean Claude Trichet as well. Okay, Duplessis, Jean Duplessis, on the board at BT, on the board at Rio Tinto. Yeah, on the boards at the Lloyd's TSB Banking Group and on the boards that crashed all of the banks in 2008 with another brown, that's Ewan, Sir Ewan, within days of me pointing out that he was the bank crasher and the reset man in 2008. That's 7 minutes 58. William Dudley, Wim Duisburg, the one that was allegedly killed, he will have been tucked away in the havens if all of that is false news and I believe I saw his body double in the Lidl's car park in Kelso before I was cast out of the region next is a royal this is Prince Edward Duke of Kent better known to you as the former presenter of the prizes at Wimbledon keep moving going yeah a relatively minor figure Edward Earl of Wessex yeah the weedy one that is married to Princess Sophie that was allowed, if the stories of Greg Hallett are true, uh, he, she was a victim of Prima Nocte and was shagged on the fir first night of his wedding by uh, his alleged dad, that is, uh, that is the Duke of Edinburgh, who has uh, caved in and cannot live with the pressure of being in the Star Wars team now, so he's resigned from his public offices. And there's the missus, Elizabeth II, Queen of the United Kingdom, yet yeah, it was a £50 million pound pay rise. Sorry, I stammered on some of those things yesterday, and I got the Bush family member wrong. The picture of his jo was of George W., not of Herbert Poppy Bush, and I also got wrong the, uh, the people that were related to the Bushes. That was the Dukes of Northumberland, not the Dukes of Westminster. Here we have Prince Ernst August of Hanover, the pe same people that were involved in the shagging of Queen Victoria and the marriage to Queen Victoria, yeah, uh, that made her a legitimate claimant to the British throne. Ernst August, Prince of Hanover, he was born, this one, in 1954. 
yeah there's this picture looks a bit like that guy in the Beatles yeah all of them on the Forbes rich list yeah Prince Ernst August of Hanover so can you see why in 2017 they're dead keen to get the young Augusts of Hanover that were the people that married uh, uh, and then sired the first child of Queen Victoria the other nine were sired by two members of the Rothschilds and the last one was sired by John Brown which is the Mrs Brown on the telly joke now and she'll be in the bloodline <laughs> ok total twats totally in charge of the whole of the world and all of its cash Heinz Fisher the Heinzes are in Donald's bloodline and the Fishers are the ones that started the panic because that is Von Fischer in the Austrian nobility and that is Carrie Fischer's ancestors this one's president of Austria in the Austrian nobility in from 8th July 2004 and re-elected for the last term in 2010 right then so that is 11.18 I think I'm going to stop there and make another one with the fissures of the Star Wars yeah massive attrition now that is happening and there is the president the Bavarian emperor that we profiled yesterday who is the successor to the throne and look what he's got on his shoulder yeah the Christian cross and the windmill blades for all of that story about Jesus this one was educated at the University of Innsbruck where there was no room at the inn for Jesus to be born into <laughs> okay Fisher was born in Styria yeah that is the future of Syria company I should have shown you it I forgot to show you it let's go back up to where we started and then I'll stop the video okay so the Syrian company is run by the man that is Grenfell uh, that is the Bismarck Interlock that is uh, the person that we started with and I'll show you at the bottom of the image that he is involved with Ian Fleming yeah the former citizen of Dundee where I am yeah he is involved there's the Grenfell Towers burning to bits and there is the British Syrian Society Limited with Ian Fleming Green at the bottom with David Steele and with uh, the Deutsche Bank chairman who is uh, the Morgan Grenfell boss and is this massive diversion yeah there he is there is John Craven at the BBC bye bye